ready for the start. They're racing in the Philip Island handicap, and they all came away to a good start, including Skip Away. It's Test to Fly from the inside, though, and Christian Soldier on the outside takes the early lead. Jerry Bailey has decided to rate Skip Away behind the early lead as they make their way toward the first turn. And then it's Storm and Fever, followed by Come On, Get Happy, who's racing just a little bit wide. Time to be wild and Devil's Fire in the back of the pack with seven furlongs to run. The opening quarter was in 23 seconds flat. It's Christian Soldier by three quarters of a length. Test to fly, skip away, sitting on the far outside of the leaders now. He's a length behind Jerry Bailey, keeping up close. They're not going that fast, and now he will make a move near the lead as they up run up the back stretch. Then it's two and a half back to come on, get happy. Storm and Fever to the outside, followed by Time to be Wild and Devil's Fire. Meanwhile, skip away has moved to the lead, and Test to fly goes right with him at the half mile pole. They run a half in 46 and 3 fifth seconds. These two begin to move away from the field. Skip away on the outside by a neck over Test to Fly. It's Storm and Fever in the third. Come on, get happy fourth. Christian Soldier is dropped back to fifth. Time to be wild. Devil's Fire. It's Skip Away around the fire turn. A length and a half in front. Jerry Bailey has not even moved his hands. And now Santos sends Storm and Fever to challenge. Jerry Bailey takes a peek behind. Has to go to a ride on Skip Away as Storm and Fever is alongside, running his heart out. Skip away has a neck in front. Storm and Fever says this isn't over yet. Storm and Fever has taken the lead from Skip away. It's Storm and Fever. This could be a monumental upset, but no, here comes Skip away back. Storm and Fever, Skip away. Skip away wins. It's Storm and Fever's second. What a finish. He gave a race today. Test of fly finished third in a final time of 147 and one. Boy, it wasn't close, but Bob, it was Skip away. Of a champion the courage of a lion he looked beaten at the 16th pole storm and fever getting 18 pounds from skip away and jose santos stuck his head in front and it appeared for the moment that the two months away and the wear and tear of the grind at hollywood park might have taken its toll but Jerry Bailey and Skip Away simply refused to be denied. Here is Storm and Fever storming up on the outside of Bailey. And in mid-stretch, Jose Santos looks like he has the winner at this point. Skip Away looks like a beaten horse, but he digs in and finds a little bit extra and gets up to win by a half a head. Let's take a look at the photo. A little longer than a nose. Incredible victory for Skip Away. Jerry, tell us about this one. Well, my only problem was I couldn't get him slowed down the first part. He was willing to raid off the lead horse, but then when Julie's horse came up next to him, he wanted to get the, the fight on. So I think with the weight and the early fractions, I knew it was going to take a toll on him, but he's a super horse, and he showed it fighting back. You seem to get floated a little wide down the backside by Greg Hutton and Testa Fly. Did that bother you at that point at all? Well, down the backside, I did it myself, just trying to get him away from him, take a little bit of the edge off of him, so he wouldn't feel like he was in such a fight all the way. Tell me about the deep stretch when you were hooked up eyeball to eyeball with Santos and Storm and Fever. It, it appeared that uh, Jose had the best of you at about the 16th pole. Well, you know, Skip Away went into his high gear, but with so much weight, it took him about a 16th of a mile to get back going again. And that's the reason for the other horse getting by him. Jerry, I know you can't see this picture, but we're showing the deep stretch. And again, Santos looks like he has you measured. But again, this guy just will not be denied. This is an incredible victory. You've won him in every way, shape, and form here by a nose over Santos in a thriller. Well, weight's a tough thing, and he should carry a lot today. So Jerry Bailey and Skip Away have done it again, but not as advertised. A lot of folks thought this would be a procession. A simple stroll down the Jersey Shore that turned out to be a life and death win for the amazing Skip Away. We had a hard ball. time really rating Skip Away. He was just on the bit. He wanted to go. Taking the lead at this point was Christian Soldier. And there's Test to Fly with Greg Hutton doing what he's supposed to do. And that is float Jerry as far out into the track as he could. And he did. And you see Jerry's hands, he, he looks like he's trying to just kind of keep Skippy kind of going in a regular gait there, but he just wants to go, go, go. And they went legitimate fractions, uh, 
246 and a few fifths for the half mile is very honest fractions for a mile and an eighth and, and at this point up came Mr. Santos and our Budweiser long shot Storm and Fever and at this point it looked like Storm and Fever was going to pull off as big an upset as Phil Islin's old New York Jets pulled off with Joe Willie Namath when they won the Super Bowl back in 68 when Michelin owned the Jets, but Sonny Hine and Carolyn have a champion. And today, Bailey found another way for Skip Away to win again. More in a moment. So Skip Away, the popular winner, returning $2.10 in both the win and the place positions. There were no show wagers uh, allowed here at Monmouth Park unless they have a tremendous minus show pool. The exact it was $4.80 and uh, let's get out the calculator and add 300,000 more dollars to the coffers of Carolyn Hine and update you now that Skip Away is closing in on Cigar some 793,500 in change dollars away from becoming the leading money winning horse of all time. He could do that later on this year. Let's go to Kenny. I'll give it back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Jerry Bailey's birthday celebration continues. A belated uh, birthday present today with the win with Skip Away. Yeah, it wasn't quite as easy as everybody anticipated, but uh, these things, in my experience, never are as easy as everybody expects. And with you is Justin. Justin, did you think Dad was going to win the race all the way? Yes, I did. Did you have as much confidence in the final 16? Well, it probably scared a lot of other people more than me because it was a lot of weight, and I could feel him. He kind of goes into a, a neutral mode when he makes the lead. But as the other horse came to him, I could feel him start the motor again, but it just took him a few strides with that weight on him to get back in front. Jerry, congratulations. Thank you. Justin, good to see you. Sonny Hine taking one more look at it. What are you thinking here in the final 16th, Sonny, as you were watching? Well, I thought he might be beaten, you know. I said, well, I made a mistake. We had a bad morning with him. Uh, his legs became very irritated when we took the poultice off of him, and uh, you couldn't touch his legs by hand, and... Uh, in fact, the state vet come by and said, I see he's sound and all right, but uh, she said he's very sick, skin sore. So we were going to thinking of putting bandages on him, then we decided not to, and he's been busy. He's had ice on off his legs all day, and uh, Jerry said he was all pumped up, but uh, he gets to loaf when he gets to lead, and then he usually comes back on, and Jerry said uh, that he was starting to run again toward the end of the race. Yeah. Okay, Carolyn, they say that's the mark of a champion when he's really challenged. He's the star. I'm very happy. Congratulations. Another win for Skip Away. He joins Cigars, the only horses to ever go over $9 million in career earnings. Back to you.